At YouTube, we strive to be a place where creators of all sizes and backgrounds can find and share their voice. To ensure that YouTube promotes respectful interactions between viewers and creators, we are making the dislike counts private across YouTube. But the dislike button is not going away. This change will start gradually rolling out today. So, how will this impact you? The quality of the video is often but not always reflected into the dislike ratio. As we gradually smother out the dislike bar, you will see an increase in the effectiveness of low quality content, false information, scams, and re uploaded or straight up stolen content. Encouraging our users to find and share their voice is not a figure of speech. We have more changes in store for you, and here are some of them. To ensure that you really find and share your voice, you understand, we will remove the search bar and only accept voice searching. <clears throat> how to launder money shirt to remove gum. Searching for how to launder money short tour new gun. Oh, fuck you, man. Keeping our users safe from dangerous content is a big priority. To counter that, we will hide the videos and audio from the platform. Similar to dislikes, they will still exist, but only in YouTube Studio. Next thing to go is the titles of the videos. Malicious users may attempt to use the titles as a way to spread hateful messages. Some of our users have reported a problem where old videos on the platform are treated differently by our algorithm. To give both new and old users a chance to grow and be recommended to the users, we may change the flow of time itself on YouTube. This may seem scary at first, but there is nothing to fear. The past and future will connect and issues of tomorrow will be dealt with yesterday. A harmonious and perfect platform will emerge, as all our videos exist simultaneously always and never. The cycle must be broken. The promised creator will end the overlapping world lines and spark a new beginning. It's really important to, you know, have your shit together, you know, in the beginning. Even if you're like just like 10 years old, if you're like listen to this and you're just like a young kid, you know, I don't care. Just learn something. Learn chemistry in your spare time. Learn physics. Learn some special skill that nobody else knows about. You have a computer, you have the internet. I hope you do it. Not I hope public libraries can still exist. Scientists created a tiny brain implant able to selectively manipulate brain cell circuits. According to a new study, technology may help uncover neurological problems. It can also reportedly treat addiction and depression. But that's not all. The implant can all be controlled remotely by a smartphone. The study published today by Nature Biomedical Engineering reveals that researchers used drug cartridges that were assembled into a brain implant for mice. The implant used a soft, thin probe... <coughs> I gotta do the show. <laughs> it is now 1.55 a.m. Must wake up and do the show. Bro. <sighs> Coffee. 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 
coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Maybe I gotta Photoshop and sell some art. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know what's going on today. I was checking out TikTok, scanned through about 100 videos, 10 of them are cats, and the rest people hurting themselves or just crazy shenanigans. How am I gonna compete? I'm gonna compete with doing all that TikTok. Holy oh, shit, it's no wonder why they have problems. Because you know something, ever since TikTok blew up, oh my god, I'm gonna have to try and get this shit on the road. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I've seen a lot of TikTok videos. I look like crap, but you know what? I haven't uh, had chance to go too much lately so I'm just gonna show you tour my apartment basically I just uh, cleaned up a little bit what I was gonna hope to do maybe for the spirit of the show I was gonna try and see if I can get an old CRT TV um, the DVD slash VHS player in the TV that was a rare find if you can find those out in the wild yeah, we'll probably find them on eBay, but eBay is expensive. You'll be spending hundreds of dollars just for a old TV, and people around here, they just, they're not going to sell to people unless they're their buddies, so this town is weird. It's like, no, I was going to pay a little kid $140 to get a TV. What I ended up doing was I ended up pissing him off because I was being too pushy about it. But, oh well. I don't know what people want these days, honestly. What do you want me to show on the show, honestly? I don't know what these people want. Maybe just again the swing of things, I'm just gonna take two hours maybe, no, oh, maybe watch a movie. Does anyone remember uh, these? The blockbuster? Yeah, I do. Back in the day, we had these. This is what I miss, the old style VHS tapes and DVDs. You know, everything is switched to digital, everything is switched up in Netflix, and yeah, it's crazy, man. People are not understanding what it is they got. They don't know what it is they got, man. They always, they're, they're always on their phones, they're, they're always like texting and doing this, and never socializing and interacting with each other, it's, it's crazy. So what I may have to do, I'm gonna have to get really super crazy if I'm gonna have to do a really super crazy show. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, to be honest. On a zero income budget by myself, competing with an ever expanding YouTube world of videos. There's just an ocean of videos, man. How am I going to do it? 
when I could barely even get a full tier of groceries, no subscribers, no donations. <sighs> Guys, Cody and the gang are at the park playing football with down down Darius Jackson. Let's go! You're not going anywhere without your big game liquid slam. Excellent! Go long. This one's going downtown. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. No, I got a full team. Yeah! Yeah! Liquid Slam! Liquid Slam! <laughs> Tough day, kids? Well, I've got just the thing. How about some big game pizza pig skin? Awesome! Yeah! Hungry, got me in the grapple. Big game pizza pig skin is my hunger that you tackle. All day, every day, big touchdown, game. Touchdown, Mrs. D. Big game pizza pig skin is for your taste, but the touchdown. Pizza that tastes better on a football. Always use a flamethrower with adult supervision.
did you get in here? The point is, Matthew, I'm here. Here for you. Me? Chocolate cake, Game Boy, and me. Which would you like first? Producing Game Boy. It's portable, it's in stereo, and its games are interchangeable. Plus, Game Boy comes with the outrageous new game, Tetris. And for head-to-head -head competition, use the revolutionary video link and blow your opponent away. Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Portable power. So anyway, guys, 5 terabyte hard drive. If I can't make a show, I can at least find some good videos to download. It used to be a lot harder back in the day when we had these. You know, we had to videotape our shows with a blank tape, and now you could just easily download these at the click of a button. It's so easy. Long are the days of Blockbuster, VHS, now we switch to digital. So if you can't invest in a 5 terabyte hard drive, you're obviously not spending your money wisely enough, and uh, there's all kinds of tutorials out there that exist, like how to build a log cabin, or or how to uh, how to cook or plant something, you know, or uh, all kinds of tutorials. I mean, I'm not just talking about myself. I'm talking about how you can help your kids if they can't be in school. Okay, kids. So listen, here's what you're gonna do. If you're going to be out of school, never mind all the distractions and all that stuff. Look, go to YouTube, type in Math Quadratic Equations. So you just copy this, copy, go to Y2Meta, paste. You don't even have to take up a lot of space on your computer, this is fine. So that'll copy in a minute. And there you go. Just like in that movie The Matrix where they taught you how to fly an airplane you know, in a matter of seconds. So, there you go. It's quick, it's simple, and in no time at all, you get to teach your kids the formula that'll... that'll always be there. You know, you could just save it on your hard drive. And this is what I was saying, get a 5 terabyte hard drive. For 150 bucks, you can store whatever the hell you want, and it'll be worth something, you know? Whereas if you go to class, you know, depending on how good your teachers are. No, there is no substitute for per the person learning. I believe that learning should be both done um, with reading and also having to ask a real person for questions because sometimes it's like you don't know what it is that you don't know. So if you don't know something, like somebody smarter than you will advise you what you're doing wrong like professor or professional teacher that's what teachers are for so support the teachers and if you can't go to class you know or if your kids can't go to class teach your kids at home it's your responsibility the information exists it all depends on you know parenting you know teach your kids to be smart smarter than you smarter than me Okay, so what you need to do, honestly, get some math, get some science tutorials, download it onto your new hard drive, and just save it. Just save it, store it away, and keep it in a safe storage for later, because you know something? That's going to be like gold. If your teachers can't be there to teach your kids in person. You can always go online. So I got my old SNES classic to work. It's a classic. But I feel like I just want to talk about real issues. I'm I'm serious though about kids these days are not going to be able to learn as much. So this is what I like to do sometimes when I get too stressed out. Look at this. Here's a game I haven't played in years. I'm going to be showing it in video games. Games this I forgot. Maybe it's going to be coming. Oh yeah, God. this is contraband. Yeah. It's 
science fiction of yesterday. One of these days, we might actually get to see it. The Alien Wars. First the robots. And it's not crazy to think, you know, maybe one of these days we'll finally get to see some real scary stuff. Already we're seeing artificial intelligence, and we're seeing people, their offspring, people having babies and black like babies. Yeah. That's a thing, you no. Know, if you want to go to uh, BitChute, you can find out all about that. And, um, no, this is not a fantasy. I mean, if I, like, oh, well, I want to see some proof. I want to see something. Well, if you want to see something, BitChute will have all the uh, pictures and info you need. Of course, they're not going to show it on YouTube. YouTube is the digital abyss. It's going to censor your videos to Kingdom Come. So I say to people, this is time to get with the program, you know? You've been lied to about a great many things. Wake up. Wake up, people. You know? This life is not what you think it is. And we've been lied to about a lot of things, you know, people, they... We're at that point now when the churches are down, you can't even walk into a church unless you get the jab. And, oh yes, I got footage of that. Do people really care, though? Not really. But, yeah, we're living in an age now where kids' features are going to be on the threshold, you know, it's up to the parents. It's up to the parents to get real smart and educate. But you see, the thing is that a lot of people who are parents shouldn't even be parents. I want kids one of these days. But I want to teach my kids about smart things. And the way the world exists today, it's not a fairy tale world. This is not a Disney world, it's a clown world. It's very dark and it's very nasty place, decrepit, you know, degenerate society. Society is, so we have to be careful, basically, about, about that. And I you know, start talking about the alien wars and video games. Aliens. Put it out there in movies and video games and TV. Cartoons. And that's how they condition people, you know. One well, of these days we'll probably get to see the real thing, man. We're already seeing artificial intelligence, quantum computers, robots. And, um, no. CRISPR and gene editing. And slowly but surely there's video surfacing out, uh, coming out with human hybrids, so. No, this is not a fantasy. It's real. It's real life. And people, they have to be mindful about that fact. What are they doing, you know, like behind the scenes? What is it that they're gearing the public towards? I wonder. And people these days are not even, they're not getting it, man. They're nowhere near getting it. The few followers that are going to follow me, uh, God bless. I will entertain, I will probably put on a show, just, you know, keep a happy face, but understand what, I understand what's going on. Do you? What's it gonna be, Matthew? Hockey? Or sex. Shamana.
This is the worst show ever. <laughs> Man, I need some coffee. So that's all I got for now, guys. If you want to help support starring artists, you know what to do. Leave a like, share, and subscribe because we're really happy to, to build the channel. There, there you go. You want to see what my old apartment used to look like? Check it. Not bad, huh? You get the idea. See, there was a little, there was a little fireplace. I had a... Uh, well, the mirror wasn't there, but I actually was going to get some more decor. I finally got the tree. Some... I ended up painting the walls blue. I might get some footage of that later. And yeah, I've actually did that. So, metaphysics, guys. Metaphysics. You, you think about it in your head, and then you do it. Oh yeah, I had, I had all kinds of ideas, and this actually happened, the studio. Okay. Okay, here we are in my studio. Let me just get that focused, okay. Kind of film. Yeah, some of the stuff, some of these tools here, I used to actually make the film. These are a couple of little cameras, uh, which I bought. This was this little camera I found at a thrift shop, $10. You can do this if you want. If you want to be like me, you don't have to be... You don't have to be rich. You don't have to know a lot of people. You could be disciplined in your craft and your skills, just like I've been saying to many people. Some people, they do their social media and they're pretenders, you know, you can take a selfie, anybody can take a selfie or a picture, but the reality is that showing pictures to your friends, creating a pseudo-reality, as I like to call, pseudo-reality, you can do that. You know, you could decide to invest countless hours on social media or you can be like me and take the different path. You can invest towards your skills and earn it just by working hard. And there's no substitute for hard work. There's no easy way to success, guys. You can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. It's never easy to... to have a big goal. But it is worth it. I guarantee it. The question is, how hard are you willing to work for? It? Okay, so that's it, that concludes my tour of the, my apartment, the studio, which again I hope to bring in winners, people who like to be crafty and are not intimidated by a little bit of hard work from a guy who knows what he's talking about. Because he's been around the block. Alright. This is Steven. Creator of Metatron Productions. And soon to be new group film club. And this is Steven. Signing out. The studio that I had before that actually happened. And too bad I couldn't get a group together. It's going to be pretty hard to do now with the pandemic. The pandemic is going to be making it hard for people to come together. So 
I, I don't know. So I had clients in my clinical practice who never recovered from the suicide of the family member. Decades later, they're still torturing themselves about it. And so that's what we leave behind. Maybe you're feeling life has been twisted against you and that people deserve to suffer for the misery that they impose upon you. But I would say, think very, very carefully before you go down that route. You know, it's, it's a terrible thing to leave people with. Part of the reason that suicide has been illegal in most societies is because it absolutely devastates the people you leave behind. And you might think, well, those people would be better off without me. 